Okay guys, here's a little bit of a change of pace. I found a Porsche 944, 1985 model. Real clean, red on black. I used to see these when I was younger, my teenage years, yeah. And these things were fast. Now all I saw of them was flying. Never could really get a good look at them because I always, always saw the back end of it, more so than the whole car, you know. Never got a chance to expect it either. These things were always on the move and people were moving in them. Let's take a good look at this one. Okay guys, yeah, this is a real nice Porsche right here, man. This thing is clean. I mean, you go right down the fuselage on the side here, you see the rims and the red paint. I mean, this thing is so clean. And looking at these fenders, I mean, this thing has been well kept. Looking at this back end, look at that. Not been molested, nothing missing, everything. A Porsche sign right across the back. This thing was well kept, man. Single exhaust. And the thing about it, there's a V8 in this thing. You know, we're gonna look at the specs again in a little, in a little while. But see that spoiler going back there? That's all I used to see, like the back end of this car. Always moving every time I saw a Porsche 944. That's all I would see. And the back went on, and I would see people up in that car having a good time, even with the sunroof up. Let's take another look at this. See how that is? That's what I call a pop-up sunroof, you know? With the wind blowing in the doors, coming out the top, and that kept the car nice and cool. You know, that's a pop-up sunroof, and that's beautiful. That's beautiful, because when you lay it down, if it just merged in with the rest of the top of the roof, and you just don't have any type of ugly, signs of a pop-up sunroof. Sometimes some of them didn't look so good, depending on what you put on it or whoever built it, you know. Let's look at some of this interior in here. And looking at this driver's seat, going down and through, it looks really, really nice. I mean, this thing looks really, really nice. It's a clean car, man. Dashboard's clean. Oh yeah, this is really nice, really nice. This car has been done some justice over the years, man. And it's a tight fit back there, so I can barely, there's a back seat back there, but I can't hardly get back there to film it, so. <laughs> We're gonna take a look at the other side. Okay guys, this thing here is a 2.5 liter single overhead cam V8. This German V8 motor, you know, and this Porsche. These things were nice, man. These were some nice cars. You also saw these things on video games. You know, like I expressed about that one Nissan 300Z I did a video on over at Country Classic Cars. These things were featured in video games. And you really, if you didn't pay much attention, if you didn't know, well, that's what you had. I mean, these things were really nice. Seats are clean, man. Seats are clean. Uh, it's the five-speed manual, if I didn't mention it. But this thing is really it's sharp. It's clean. Nice Porsche, man. For it to be 85, you can't beat this. Okay, for all the old-fashioned people that like watching cars, videos on cars, or at a car show, like seeing these old classics, uh, I found something for you. It's a really nice old Nash. And if you know the name Nash, you know what I'm talking about. That is the precursor, along with Jeffrey, along with Hudson, that made up the American Motor Company when they merged. Well, I found you an old Nash. And it's a beauty, it's a beauty. Yeah, I call it the Black Beauty. Let's take a good look. Okay, guys. This is an old beauty. Yeah. See the front end? It's not as big as you would think it would be if you saw it in a picture or a poster. But this is how these cars were looking back in the day. I would say early 50s, late 40s, or even late 30s going to early 40s. You know. This one here has a... I would say it's a lady on there. That's a lady on there. 
has a face, almost look like a bird, but it's a lady. Uh, Cause you got the breast down here. <laughs> yeah. The certain features they used to put on there, the chrome over the headlights. And look at those signal lights in the front. That grill, the bumpers, man. I hate to have to get hit by this car if I was crossing the street. My God, that's a lot of steel. It's not like today's cars when you got more plastic on there. Now, let me do it from the passenger side. We're gonna get a good look at this car. See how the front wheels and rear wheels are covered? Yeah, you don't see that a lot, you know. And you see by way of the fuselage, how this nice streamline, how this thing goes all the way around, coming back across the front tires, all the way to the front passenger door, going all the way back, it's the same streamline. The same trim, just round, clean. Tires are tucked in. I don't see many cars like this. This is my first seeing a Nash this size, and it's called the Ambassador. So this was a big vehicle, family vehicle back in the day. And this roof is immaculate. I don't see many nicks, there's a few. Water stains as well. But uh, that's because it was washed. You know, some water stains dried up. This is one thing I learned, that big vent going across there. Some of them older cars during the 30s, 40s, early 50s, maybe had those vents. Some of them got tucked away. You pull a lever and the vent popped up for the fresh air. You know, because not many of these cars had air conditioning. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, not many. You got that visor right there. Whoops. Up to, to the old antenna. You know. Let's get another look at that. The Ambassador. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this is an old beauty. Look at in here. My God, there's a lot of room in there. Dashboard looks really nice. Let's take another look. Yeah, that's different to me. Some of those knobs and buttons. Really different to me. The speedometer is right there on the steering wheel. We're gonna take a look at that when we go to the other side. But this interior is really nice. Look at all the room in the back. And this seat is back there. Yeah, this was a big car, man. This was a big, big, big car. It was meant to put about five or six people in it. We're gonna look at the driver's side. Let's take a good look at this driver's side. I mean, this thing is a clean car for it to be as old as it is. An old Nash, you know. This thing is a beauty. Look at the rear end real quick. For the size of this car, I don't know how much trunk space is in there, but it looked like it may have more than enough. It's a single exhaust, you know. Look at those tail lights, how small they are on this car. And actually, this Nash doesn't have any type of uh, backup lights on it. Huh, that's interesting. It's a Nash Super Ambassador. Look at this back window here. This is pretty clean. It's got a stain back there, but who cares? You could, get, you could do something to that. Today's technology, all the stuff you got to clean and material you can use to replace certain things, you can fix that. 
No problem. Another look at this back. There's a lot of leg room down in there, man. And the fact that people owned these type of cars and drove them everywhere. But what gets me is the speedometer. That's right there on the steering wheel. And you got all these different knobs and buttons in here. Oh yeah, this is something to see. Really nice car. And our true old classic that's still alive. Hanging in there. Nash Super Ambassador. Nice car.